Welcome to the WineGuard Company video tutorials. Visit the knowledge base at WineGuard.com for additional videos and answers to all of your reception questions. Hi, my name is Hans Rabong. I'm the Technical Service Manager of the Off-Air Division of WineGuard. Today, what we're going to do is troubleshoot a PS1503 power supply, which is used with our preamps and amplified antennas to make sure that your unit is working properly. The PS1503 consists of three parts. First, the plug-in wall transformer, the six-foot cable that comes packaged with the unit, and the little splitter-looking device that's referred to in the instruction manuals, etc., as the power injector. The proper way to hook this up would be the wall transformer, is attached to the black coax cable. The black coax cable then is attached to the connector on the power injector that says PWR in, which stands for power in. The unit is then plugged into the wall and the little red LED on the power injector should be lit. If it is not lit, then what we'll have to do is use a voltmeter to check and see if the power transformer is putting out voltage or we do not have a problem with the cable, such as a bad connection or a short in the coax cable. So you need a voltmeter that is capable of reading at least plus 30 volts DC. In this case, this digital meter I've got on mine, it goes to plus 20, 200, or 1000 volts DC. I've got it in a 200 scale because the wall transformer unloaded can put out anywhere from 18 to plus 27 volts. So to check the wall transformer or the cable, simply put the black lead on the outside of the F connector. The red lead would touch the center conductor. Make sure you do not short the center conductor to the outside of the connector. And in our case here, we are reading 27.2 volts. So that means we, the wall transformer and the cable are good. If for some reason you did not have voltage at the end of the cable, then what I would suggest is that you use a paper clip, insert the paper clip in the wall transformer and measure the wall transformer. Once again, the threads are your negative lead, the paper clip is your positive lead, and we should have somewhere between 18 to 27 volts DC, plus 18 to plus 27 volts DC. If we have our voltages here, once again, we'll hook everything back up. So now we know we have voltage coming out of the wall transformer. We have voltage at the end of a coax. If we hook it to the power injector, and the light does not come on, then the power injector is defective. The next step would be if the light is on, but your antenna or preamplifier is not working, put your bolt, put your paper clip in your connector that says antenna ANT. Once again, the threads or the case is your negative lead. The voltmeter should be reading plus 15 to 15 and a half volts DC. There is a regulator in the little power injector that takes the 18 to 27 volts and regulates it to a plus 15 going up to the antenna. We have determined that the transformer, the jumper cable, and the power injector is giving us are plus 15 volts out. As you notice, the LED is lit. 
Now, we have to be careful here and hook up the cable properly. We need to go to the connector that says ANT and hook up our cable going out to our antenna, amplified antenna, pre-amplifier. So once we hook this antenna up, or this antenna cable up, if the red light still stays on, that tells us the piece of coax cable is good. If the light goes off, then the, we have a problem with the coax cable. Bad connection or a short in the cable. The red LED indicates that there is a short between the power injector and the amplified product. It's a thermal fuse. Once it detects a short, the LED will go off. Then what you need to do is hook up your antenna or preamplifier. If the light stays on, everything should be working. If the light goes off, then we have a defect in the preamplifier or the amplified antenna. Finally, one last thing to check is our cable connection out at the amplifier or amplified antenna to verify we have our 15 volts DC. Once again, put the black lead on the outside of the connector, the red lead on the center conductor, and we should have our 15 plus volts to verify we do not have a bad connection or a bad cable preventing the voltage from reading our amplified device. If we have the voltage at the end of the cable and the device still not work, does not work, then we have a problem with the amplified antenna or the preamplifier. This is Hans Rabong from the Weingard Company showing you how to troubleshoot a Weingard power supply used on a number of Weingard products. This has been a Weingard Company presentation. For more information on quality reception products made in the USA, please visit Weingard.com.